Welcome to the Optics RTN380 Hardware at a Glance animated video. You can watch the entire video or click on any clips you are interested in to watch them. The RTN380 is a full outdoor E-band microwave product. It is powerful yet compact with a volume of only 4.6 litres. The RTN380 supports direct mounting. It provides four GE ports. All ports are waterproof and dustproof and are located at the bottom of the RTN380. The RTN380 has heat sink fins, fixture bolts and ground bolts on its front side. The feed port of an RTN380 offers universal polarization. To change the polarization of a radio link, you only need to change the polarization of an antenna. You do not need to change the direction or rotate the feed port of the RTN380. The guide pin works with the guide trough on an antenna or a hybrid coupler to help positioning and prevent falls. The fixture captive bolts secure an RTN380. During installation, tighten the bolts cornerwise. P&D is a power over Ethernet port and it allows access of GE electrical signals and negative 48 volt power signals. The P&D port uses an RJ45 jack. GEE is a GE electrical port and it uses an RJ45 jack. Combo is a composite port and it can function as a GE optical port or a CPRI port. The combo port uses an SFP optical module. GEO is a GE optical port and it uses an SFP optical module. USB slash RSSI is a maintenance compartment. The USB port is connected to a USB flash drive or a USB Wi-Fi module for software or data loading or wireless management. The RSSI port and NMS port share the same RJ45 jack but use different pins. RSSI signals are used to align antennas. The NMS port provides on-tower connection to the web LCT. Outdoor power injectors, or PIs, supply power to RTN380s over Ethernet cables. Outdoor PIs can be installed indoors or outdoors on walls or poles. Indoor PIs can also supply power to RTN380s over Ethernet cables but indoor PIs must be installed on racks or walls in sheltered environments, such as equipment rooms or outdoor cabinets. A hybrid coupler combines and divides RF signals. When mounting two RTN380s on an antenna to implement 1 plus 1 protection or 2 plus 0 non-protection, a hybrid coupler is required. A hybrid coupler provides a main tributary port, a standby tributary port and an antenna port. The antenna port of a hybrid coupler is also a universally polarised feed. An optical splitter splits one channel of optical signals into two channels and combines two channels of optical signals into one. It works with RTN380s to achieve 1 plus 1 protection. An outdoor optical splitter can be installed indoors or outdoors, on walls or poles. An outdoor Ethernet cable is a Category 5 shielded twisted pair. It is connected to a GE electrical port. You can assemble its dedicated RJ45 connector on site. An outdoor Ethernet cable is also connected to the PE port of an RTN380 to receive and transmit service and negative 48 volt power signals. Outdoor optical cables are used outdoors to connect to SFP optical modules. The cable ends already have the correct receive-transmit connections. Outdoor PGND cables are used to ground outdoor equipment. An OT terminal connects an RTN380 or outdoor PI at one end for grounding, and a ground clip base connects an outdoor ground point at the other end. When 1 plus 0 non-protection is used, an RTN380 is directly mounted to an antenna. 
All four ports can receive and transmit service signals. When 2 plus 0 non-protection is used, two RTN 380s are mounted to a hybrid coupler, which directly connects to an antenna. The four ports on each RTN 380 can receive and transmit service signals. When 1 plus 1 hot standby, or HSB, protection is used, two RTN 380s are mounted to a hybrid coupler, which directly connects to an antenna. The two RTN 380s are cascaded through a connection between specified ports. The RTN 380s can work with an optical splitter or an IDU to implement 1 plus 1 HSB. If they work with an optical splitter, only optical service signals can be received and transmitted. If they work with an IDU, both optical and electrical service signals can be received and transmitted.